Please welcome Steve Nelson as he describes open source solar. Hi, my name uh, is, is Steve Nelson. Um, I started a uh, nonprofit a year ago called uh, Zen Man Energy, and I'm trying to create an open source um, uh, solar power plant. Um, and I want to kind of throw out a thought experiment for you. Um, the reason most people don't use solar power is it's just too expensive. Now, what if, what if solar were not, you know, you know, 90% the cost of coal? What if it was 10%? What if it was so cheap that you'd have to question, why are we using coal? So for, for a minute, forget about photovoltaics. You're probably, you know, you know you've seen these before. Uh, they create electricity by uh, knocking electrons free. But the, 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 um, what I'm focused on is solar steam. Um, solar steam is, is something that almost all of our power is generated by. Coal uses steam, nuclear uses steam, uh, natural gas plants use steam. So the sun can create steam. And steam power, it's something like 80 or 90% of all of the world's energy is created from steam. And so with solar, this is known as concentrated solar power. Um, concentrated solar power takes a large surface area of sunlight and focuses it down to a small point. And by doing that, it gets very, very hot. And all you have to do is throw water at that very hot point and you create steam. Um, so what I'm trying to do is figure out, is it possible to take a existing concepts for solar steam and make it cheaper? You know, are there ways to do this? And of course there are. You, know, you can use cheaper materials, you know, better manufacturing. Um, so my focus has been primarily on using cheaper materials. I'm trying to figure out, can I use things like plastic? Um, can I use film? Um, can, I, can I replicate uh, uh, different types of of, of glass insulators uh, for a cheaper, cheaper price. And so I started with Fresnel lenses. That's kind of where every solar guy starts. Um, they have a tremendous amount of power, but they're kind of complicated to use. And so then I started uh, messing around with different types of um, reflectors. And this is what I've come up with. This reflector, it's about eight feet wide by about two feet deep, costs 10 bucks. The, the equivalent surface area of, of sunlight that a photovoltaic would cost 700 bucks. I mean, this is a major difference. And it's not perfect, uh, but it is so much cheaper that we can just make a lot more of them. The second thing I had to deal with is what's known as an evacuated tube, a way to insulate the heat uh, from the surrounding air. And so I've gone through this, this process to, to figure out a way to replicate this um, using a, a glass pipe that can be run in a really long run. Um, I've made these couplings. They're maybe about eight bucks of aluminum. Um, steel pipes, about 10 bucks. So the dollars that I'm dealing with are minuscule compared to what uh, current photovoltaic systems uh, uh, are, are using. And so the, the other thing I'm also dealing with, in, in addition to cheaper materials, is can we make the manufacturing faster? Can, can it be produced in vast quantities? Because we have to create a tremendous amount of these to, before it's going to actually work. Uh, this is my, my son, uh, Miles. He, he and I were able to assemble one of these things. I've, I've made this system where you can just kind of plug things together, and we can assemble one of these. This one it happens to be 8 feet by 10 feet, um, and it's you know, a matter of minutes to put this thing together. Finally, the last thing that I, I um, want to try to do to, to make this get off the ground, I'm doing this as a nonprofit, um, is uh, create a Habitat for Humanity style uh, installation process where people will throw their, their, their help in for free, and um, the, the proceeds from these plants will go to other nonprofits and help fund other nonprofits. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm doing a, a demonstration tomorrow at the Mini Maker Fair. I hope you guys can show up. It'll, it'll be pretty neat. It might work. It might not work. It's, it's a brand new thing. It's, it's going to be an open source uh, solar plant, so I will give away how to build this thing, how, how it works, and you know, how to actually construct it yourself. Um, I need help, so if you're interested in doing any of this, I, you know, I could definitely use your help. But I hope you guys can make it to the, the Maker Faire tomorrow and, and come check out what I've made so far. Thank you.